Hi, this is Matt Hamrick from the Home Removal Phone Club, and this is the second of my video blogs on uh, booting up the uh, my phone. So last week, what we did is we got all the hardware together, and we got the base operating system installed, and the bootloader, and all that stuff. And um, I was able to get it to boot to a prompt. Now, this last week, I had been a little bit, a little bit ill, so I didn't do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but what I did get done is I did verify that the frame buffer actually works, and I verified that um, the uh, DirectFB libraries can be compiled for this platform. Now, I'm having a few problems with the DirectFB libraries, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Also, I've got a web page that describes everything that uh, I'm doing here um, on the Homebrew Mobile Phone Club wiki. Um, I'll put a, along here, I'll put a... Uh, a link to that that uh, web page and um, what else yeah okay so let's uh, just show some of the tests so the first test I'm going to show you is the frame buffer test and all it really does all the frame buffer test does is I don't know if you can see that too well okay so it just goes through all of the colors that the display supposedly knows about um, just marches right through all the colors, moves them around a little bit. So that's writing directly to the dev FB device. And there's a particular way that you do it. You, o you open the device, you memory map a, a section of the file, of the quote unquote file, it's a device file. And then you start writing to that memory. Um, I'll put the example code up on the web page. Okay, let me stop this. Now there's another dis another test I have that um, demonstrates that <laughs> demonstrates that uh, the frame buffer or direct FB actually kind of works, and um, there are still a couple little errors, but you know we'll we'll get we'll get we'll get there. Um, anyway, that's really it. I just wanted to show you that that, that stuff is happening, um, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.